Good afternoon. Welcome back to Today with Matt and Dave. I'm Matt Ricker. And I'm Dave Horvath. And now uh, Dave has some uh, Billboard music news. Some Billboard music, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to talk about the uh, top 10 Billboard songs of this week. Number one is uh, What Do You Mean by Justin Bieber. I know we have a lot Ew. of believers <laughs> or whatever they're called out there. Oh. Hey, I guess let them be. <laughs> hey, listen, Justin Bieber's not as bad as he used to be. I used to no, he's definitely got better. You know, better. He's done some stupid things, but then again, yeah, he's give, changed. Give, give give a kid our age, you know, hundred million dollars and anything he wants, and we'll do all do stupid things. <laughs> uh, number two is I can't feel my face by the weekend. I love the weekend. I think he's fantastic. Number three is The Hills by The Weekend again. Great, great, great song. It's probably my favorite weekend song. Honestly, is The Hills. Number four is Watch Me by Saleto. Number five is Cheerleader by Omi. I know a lot of people love that song. You know, Cheerleader, na 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 be her. I don't know. Uh, number six is uh, Lean On by Major Lazer and DJ Snake featuring M.O. I do like Major Lazer. He has one of my favorite DJs, Diplo. He started the whole Major Lazer idea. Number seven is Good For You by Selena Gomez featuring ASAP Rocky. Number eight is six seven nine kind of funny eight then six seven nine like six seven eight nine um by fetty Watt featuring remy boys number nine is locked away by r city featuring adam levine i do like adam levine a lot and number 10 new kind of entry got back in the top 10 is where are you now by Shrillix and diplo also known as jack U, uh with justin bieber good song i actually do like to have a remix of it by this man named marshmallow who I oh he's fantastic though I talked I've talked to Marshmallow on a couple occasions really really good DJ awesome remix I really really tell people they should uh, look at it and a little throwback to last year uh, this number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 of uh, this week of last year was All About That Bass by Megan Trainer and I remember everyone was I'm all about that bass about that bass <laughs> no trouble oh uh, that was remember that that was a song that was played you know 15 bajillion times oh my gosh like every every other song on the radio it was all oh. about the bass <laughs> which is just funny <laughs> and a uh, little because we do our uh every week we try to throw out a new album coming out uh this week's is fetty wap's album called fetty wap i mean that was i think it's kind of funny your album's called fetty wap you couldn't think of anything creative but it's coming out <laughs> september 25th and on it has such songs as my way six seven nine Again, and Trap Queen, you know, the song that kind of broke him out there. So, you know, hopefully that he does well with his sales and, you know, does have some good songs on it. So we'll have to see how that does next week. But it should be a week from tomorrow, actually, be coming yeah. out, a week from today. Um, talk about the box office for this upcoming week. Got some good films. Hey, I'm excited. We've had a couple. I mean, last week we did have two films that were neck and neck with <laughs> The Perfect Guy and The Visit. I think it was about four hundred thousand dollars was the difference between first and second, which is so minuscule. Four hundred thousand dollars in the movie industry is like a penny out of my pocket. So I mean, it was close with the percentages from first and second. But the box office did do very well last week compared to a couple of previous weeks prior. But uh, I'm kind of interested to see how this upcoming week does. I'm excited for this week personally because I think this week's gonna have a couple awesome hits, starting with. Black Mass, the movie about Whitey Bulger. Johnny Depp plays Whitey Bulger. That who, sounds like a good one. Oh, yeah. Gi Johnny Depp's fantastic already. So just imagine, you know, you see him every role he ever has been in. He becomes yeah. the character. It's going to be awesome. It's opening about 3,050 theaters across America. It's, he plays Whitey Bulger, who was in the I Irish mobster, who became an FBI informant to get the mafia that was on his turf out. So it was kind of ironic. Then you have the Maze Runner. Um, the Scorch Trials opening at 3,700 theaters. The hit, the sequel to the Maze Runner, the original Maze Runner. I never saw the Maze Runner. My friends say it's awesome. Um, I will probably go see it just because the um, rave. I project that will be the number one film of this week. I think it's going to win pretty easily. I think it's going to have a very big in, uh, opening, just like most of these book films. If the first one does well, looking at the Hunger Games opening was fantastic. The second one opening was even bigger. So I think it's going to have a bigger opening. And opening, also, it's only going to be an IMAX for this week, but it's going to be a, a hit, I think, down the road, is Everest. A movie about the, the expedition team that climbed Everest and it looks awesome. Jake Gyllenhaal's in it, uh, among others. Josh Boland gonna, looks really good, but it's only opening IMAX this week. So 
if you can't have an IMAX near yet, I will it'll open in normal theaters soon. Now we're going to go over to Matt for a little bit of a uh, television. Thanks, Dave. Uh, that those sound like uh, good movies, and uh, hopefully they they get. High up there. Have to go see, hey, I have to go see one of them soon. Yeah. I I like to go see Black Mass of the Maze Runner. So <clears throat> find uh, that. If you want to go see that, shout me out. <laughs> All right. So now uh, on to our TV shows. On uh, as you may know, uh, television season is starting to pick up again. Oh, can't um, wait! Some great shows coming back. Oof, <laughs> can't wait. Yeah, with uh, with all of uh, the hot shows that are coming back. So. On Wednesday, September 23rd, Modern Family comes back oh, on boy. ABC. My favorite show. Yeah. They're trying to win another Emmy for Best Comedy. They've won five years in a row. Can they win the sixth? Can they set the record? Have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. And uh, also, this is my all-time favorite show, Law & Order SVU. Uh, comes back on NBC at 9 p.m. Um, the, uh, on 9 the p.m. on uh, September 23rd. Oh, yeah. Another good show. Yeah. Oh, that that. I, I'll record like 10, 20 episodes at once. And, <laughs> and then you binge them. watch. <laughs> um, then Thursday, September 24th, Grey's Anatomy uh, comes on at 8 p.m. on ABC. Scandal at 9 p.m. And How to Get Away with Mur- uh, I'm sorry, How to Get Away with Murder at 10 p.m. There's a couple of big hits. Uh, Scandal's really grown to a great show. Mm-hmm. How to Get with Murder, very, very popular. And, you know, Grey's Anatomy. Who doesn't love Grey's Anatomy? Have you watched How to Get Away with Murder? I have not. I want to, though. It's I Viola good. Davis, I know, is fantastic yeah. in it. That's from what I've heard. How about Scandal? I have watched some Scandal. I do. Carrie Washington, superb in that show. Yeah. I think it's great. Uh, then Sunday, September 27th, Quantico premieres on ABC. It's sort of like a FBI, CIA type of show, and uh, seems good. It uh, you know comes on for the first time on the 27th, so I'm looking forward to watching that. Ho- hopefully, it can you know stick. You know, yeah. shows can make it or break it just in the pilot episode, so we'll have to see. Um, and then uh, Wednesday, September 30th, Chicago PD comes back on. No, but down the line, I know it's a lot of, lot of people like that show. I love that show. I also like Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire. I have seen Chicago Fire. I like that show. It's a good um, show. I couldn't find when that comes back on. I think it comes on uh, October or something. Well, we'll put that one of the ports down yeah. the road. Uh, and then they're starting a new show. Uh, it's a spinoff from Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. It's called uh, Chicago Med, and it's going to be, you know, about um, the doctors and EMTs in Chicago, C- kind of like Chicago Fire and PD, but medicine, you know. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so that, uh, that'll that probably be a, a good show. Um, do you have any more, uh, Dave? Yeah, I got one more thing to throw out there. I like to try getting uh, a breaking story that kind of happens relatively close to when we broadcast, uh, and this but pretty big one happened about ten hours ago. It was uh, reported on by Simon Reynolds, and its Tomb Raider reboot is happening. And Catherine Bigelow is on the short list to direct. Now, many people know Tomb Raider from two thousand and one and two thousand three with Angela Jolie uh, starring in it. Good one. It's the highest grossing um, video game made to a movie ever. Video games really don't do well in make being made into movies, but. Obviously, when you have Andrew and Jolie playing the lead, you're going to attract audience, and t- uh, Tomb Raider did very well. And they're trying to—they have a trio of female directors lined up for this next um, action adventure, Laura Croft movie. And uh, it's really down to Oscar-winning ho- locker director Catherine Bigelow. You know, she's fantastic. She's done a couple great films, such as Zero Dark Thirty. Her locker, which she won the, the Academy Award for. She also is, um, knows is Point Break in Strange Days. Uh, you also have a Twilight filmmaker Catherine Hardwick and De- Deep Impact Mimi Letter are all on the short list. Walking Dead's Trisha Brock was previously said to be attached to the pick to this uh, Warner Brothers Edo's produced film, but the TV director passed on it to make uh, the chance to make it. So it's like uh, okay, but Evan Daughtry of Divergent and Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles is probably going to be most likely writing the script for this reboot. So he has done some good films, so it's exciting. And obviously of the three people that are on this list, Catherine Bigelow is the most recognizable because she did win an Academy Award for The Hurt Locker, which is awesome, awesome film. And she also was nominated three years later for Zero Dark Thirty. And, you know, having movies such as um, Point Break and Strange Days. And, you know, the original Tomb Raider spawned two films, Laura Croft Tomb Raider and Laura Croft Tomb Raider, Cradle of Life, so we're really going to have to see how this uh, 
works out. I mean, they have the new video game coming out in November called Rise of the Tomb Raider. So we'll find out soon, hopefully, who the director is. And then we'll find out who's going to be cast. be interesting. But that's all that I have today, man, about movies and entertainment. Sounds good, yeah. Um, uh, w- that was a great show today. And uh, also follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, my my handles are, uh, you know, just Matthew Ricker on Facebook. And then at Matt Ricker on Twitter. It's um, M-A-T-T-R-I-C-K-E-R-R. Two R's at the end. That's not normally how you spell my name, but that's... Uh, it was already taken on Twitter when I was making it, so I had to make it unique. <laughs> uh, and then on my Instagram, it's uh, at Matt Ricker Five. And on um, you follow, you can follow me on my Twitter at Dave Horvath H O R V A T H eighty four, or on Instagram at Dave Horvath eighty four, the exact same. Yeah, and send us uh, your ideas. Send us a friend request, and uh, you know, let you know. us know if you want anything we could talk about on the show. Just kind of give us a little uh, heads up, and we'll fit it in. Yeah, um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week on today with Matt and Dave. And uh, with that being said, I'm Matt Ricker, and I'm Dave Horvath. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good night. She knows just-